You may be seated. Our sermon today comes to us from Acts chapter 18. We're going to be reading verses 24 through 28, and we're going to uh, meet one of Paul's fellow laborers, or a man who would become a laborer in the gospel with Paul, by the name of Apollos, who had become very important in the church in Corinth, uh, so much so that uh, eventually Paul would write to the Corinthians, I planted, uh, but Apollos watered, and God gave the increase. And so this is a man who was greatly used by the Lord in building up his church. But when we first meet him, he's a man who doesn't quite understand the gospel. And we're going to find out what happened to change all of that. But before we do, let's go to the Lord and let's ask for his help in understanding. God, our Father, I need your help. I need zeal. I need unction. I need to have my tongue loosened so that I can proclaim your word. I need to know the power of the gospel myself before I can pray, proclaim it to other people. And I pray, Lord, that you would give your people listening ears. It is possible for us to hear the words and have them, as it were, pass in one ear and out the other, affecting us not at all. But we pray that wouldn't happen. We pray that your word would sink down deep within us, that it would find fertile soil in our hearts, and that it would produce a harvest there. We desire, O oh Lord, not to be merely hearers of your word, but doers of it. So help us to learn and help us to apply these things. Now, Lord, we know that whenever the word is being preached, we have entered into spiritual warfare. The devil is always trying to distract us. We pray, Lord, that you would thwart him in that. May it be that we are attentive to the reading and the preaching of your word this morning and that we grow in grace thereby. We pray this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Acts chapter 18 and verses 24 through 28. 